Hey, it's Adam Murphy, and we're continuing my segment on capitalism. So the first one talked about why ultimately it leads to a profit of zero if it's done properly. Um, people disagreed. That's cool. I want to now talk a little bit about the idea of efficiency in capitalism because one of the things we all hear regularly and often is capitalism, right? Markets are the most efficient way to do things. And I'm going to propose that that's not actually the case. Let me demonstrate. So ready for some game theory and economics? I promise it won't be scary, but we are going to use the whiteboard. Real simply, I'm going to explain Hotelling's Law, and you're now going to see it everywhere you go, and it explains why capitalism is actually not always the most efficient, despite what they say about letting the market set the prices and set the work. It's not always efficient. Here's why. So the idea of Hotelling's Law is this. There's a guy on the beach, Everybody's out there. He wants to sell ice cream cones. He's the only one, so he's going to naturally set up in the middle, right? It's the easiest access he can gain. Customers all up and down the beach come to his ice cream stand. But the problem with this is this is a monopoly. He can charge whatever he wants. He's the only business in town. So a monopoly is never efficient or at least incredibly rarely efficient. But it's certainly never beneficial for society. So somebody else comes along and goes, oh, that dude is making a bunch of cash selling ice cream on that beach. I could do the same thing, and I'd make a bunch of money too. So here's what happens. He goes, where should I be? Well, I could come down to an end, but then this guy's still going to get all this and all this because who's going to walk all the way down to this end of the beach? Right? So maybe I go halfway in between. Well, then I get this. I get some of this, but boy, there's all these customers over here. And so here's what makes sense. This is game theory. The best decision, the best strategy, is for him to be right there in the middle. So now we've got two guys. Well, now there's some competition. And we know competition is good, right? We believe competition is good for society because that'll drive down prices, increase innovation. That's a good thing. So now they're both getting seven customers. Right? But this isn't the most efficient for society because these guys down here at the end still have to come all the way into the middle in order to get that ice cream cone. What would be more efficient? Well, so we're going to continue and explain how we can actually be more efficient and what the market actually does and how you're going to see it on a day-to-day -day basis. Hop into the next video for more. Thanks.